Hello everyone. In the spirit of spring, I wanted to share two looks that I am going to be wearing all the time this season. Currently, I am obsessed with all neutrals. So I'm gonna be showing you this look that I'm wearing right now, which is neutral with a pop of green on the eyes. And then I'm gonna be showing you another look that's a little lighter and glowy and a little bit more airy feeling. That one is a little bit more pink, a little bit more flush. So you have a couple options, color and neutrals. And I'm also going to be showing you the outfits that I would pair along with the looks as well. And as CoverGirl's Glam Ambassador, I'm gonna be showing you some brand new products that are quickly becoming my new faves and that I am totally obsessed with, as well as showing some love to some old faves of mine. So let's get into look number one, the neutrals. I'm gonna start off by using my NARS eyeshadow primer just to make sure that everything stays in place because these oily eyelids want to have makeup stay on them. I guess that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Groundwork paint pot, oh yeah. This is a really wonderful neutral base. So I'm just going to put this on my eyes to add a little bit of color before I put down some eyeshadow. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> it's like before I put down some eyeshadow with my claw hands. Gonna use a nice, friendly little eyeshadow brush. Doesn't this guy look really friendly? He just wants to have a great day. So I'm gonna stick him in some eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Lancome Audacity in Paris palette, and this is a gorgeous palette that I've used before, but I'm gonna be using some different colors today. I'm gonna start off with this color right here, and it's called Coquette. And I'm gonna put this on the inner part of my eyelid. I'm trying to think of a way to describe this color, and the only thing that's coming to my mind is that it reminds me of a cream puff, so I'm just gonna roll with that. Inner part of my eye. And this is just gonna brighten up my eye area a little bit. The next color I'm going to use is this one right here, which is called Voyage. And I guess this is kind of like a mauve terracotta brown. Was that a description? That sounded like a description to me. I'm gonna use the other side of my brush to get this eyeshadow on there. And I'm going to put this color on the other half of my eyelid and kind of blend the two together. I'm gonna use this color here in my crease called Sante, and this is kind of like a burnt brown color. So I'm just gonna use this for a little bit of depth. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. So right in Le Crease. The thing that I've been doing to blend out my eyeshadows is I take a clean, fluffy brush and then whatever face powder I'm using, and I get a little bit of this powder on the brush and I use that as my blending color to blend out the edge of my eyeshadow. And I find that it works quite well. This way I'm getting a true blend and I'm not adding another color. It just really helps even everything out. So I've actually used this eyeliner before in black. It's the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus. CoverGirl recently came out with some new colors, Deep Burgundy and Hunter Green. So I'm gonna be using Hunter Green today because I think it's very pretty. These eyeliners are really great because the pencil tip allows you to get a really precise line. And then there's a smudger at the end so you can smoke it out if you want to. I think it's time for Hunter Green to meet my upper lash line. Using my Shiseido eyelash curler to curl my lashes today, cause it's my fave. OMG, I am so excited because CoverGirl sent me their new mascara before it comes out. You all know I love the Supersizer mascara and now they have the Supersizer Fibers mascara coming very soon. Still have that Lash Styler, AKA Lash One, that we all know and love. And I'm going to be using this to apply my mascara in that little twirly motion. The tube contains thousands of tiny little fibers that attach to the ends of your lashes. I am 
personally am not the best at applying false lashes. I can do it, but it takes me a little while. And lash extensions kind of scare me. So this is really the perfect solution for me. This mascara makes my lashes look a lot longer instantly. And it's coming out this summer, so make sure you look out for it. Moving on to my face makeup, I'm going to start off with my Lancome Pore Eraser Primer. This goes all over my face. I really like this because it feels good on my skin and it helps minimize the appearance of my pores, which means that it acts as a nice base so my foundation doesn't just sink into my pores. I'm gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation today and this is the shade number five, medium. What I do is I take a pump of this onto my hand, like that, and then I dot it at the center of my face. And this is a medium to full coverage foundation depending on how much you put on. It's definitely buildable. And it has a demi-matte finish, so it's not super matte, but it's also not dewy either. That's one of the reasons why I like this foundation so much. It's because it just has a very natural looking finish to it. I'm gonna use my handy dandy beauty blender to blend all of this out. I'm using my Chantecaille Under Eye Concealer to just kind of brighten up my eye area. I'm gonna set everything with my Urban Decay D Slick. To set everything, I'm using a fluffy brush and then my Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Powder Foundation. I'm just gonna do a light dusting of this all over my face. I like to put extra powder on my brows because that area gets oily. Maybe it's like the oil from my eyelids goes up to my eyebrows and this kind of helps prime them for my eyebrow pencil. I have my Bobbi Brown Longwear Eyebrow Pencil in Mahogany and I'm gonna use this to fill in my brows. Brush them out, brush them out. Fill them in, fill them in. Using my Bobbi Brown eyebrow gel to just set my brows so they don't move around. Using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette now, which is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be using the color Lo-Fi, which is right here on my cheeks. And it's just a really nice neutral looking blush. On my lips, I'm going to be using this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Pencil in the color Iconic Nude. This is gonna be a base for my lip color and help it last longer. And then over the top, I'm using this Jouer Lip Cream in the color Noisette. And these lip creams are awesome. They have really great staying power and they go from this cream to matte formula. So this is the finished makeup look. What do you think? What do you think? I kept this entire look very neutral aside from the green eyeliner. So the green eyeliner would really pop. And even my entire outfit is just all beige, all neutral. And I really love this. I think it's really fun to play around with neutrals in different tones and then to have that hunter green pop on my eyes. Now I'm gonna show you my outfit. Keeping it all neutral and all beige with my outfit today because I started off with a beige diet. And now I'm moving into a beige wardrobe. Fun fact, beige diet is not actually a thing. I said it as a joke to a server at a restaurant once and he thought it was a real diet. And I was like, no, it just means anything that's like bread or a carb. Essentially, all things that are delicious in my mind are probably and usually beige. Pasta, donuts, bread, cookies, various shit of beige. Anyway, taking that beige theme and bringing it to my clothing, I have on this super comfy top and it's very flowy, really breathable. It's great for spring and summer. I love it so much, I actually have it in gray as well. Over the top of that, I have this cream colored jacket, which I just thought was a really great piece to add into this outfit. It kind of dresses it up and gives it a little bit more shape since the top and the pants 
pants are looser. The jacket kind of brings it all together. I have a pair of loose pants on. I think these are great for spring and summer because you can move around in them. They're very breathable. They're stretchy, comfortable, and I love the color because I have had pants like this in black and darker colors, but I think that they're really, really nice when they're lighter because you can see them a little bit more and it just creates a whole different vibe. And then on my feet, got on my Rockstead flats because they're my favorite neutral shoes. They're just amazing. I mean, they just take any outfit and make it like, oh, this is a nice outfit too. Oh my God. Time for look number two. I have the same base and foundation on and also my eyebrows, just so you guys know. And also eye primer. On my eyes, I'm using the Tarte Showstopper palette, which is one of my faves. And I'm gonna be using this gold color right here and putting it all over my lids. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors because it's not super shimmery and it adds just enough color to your eyes. I'm gonna use my little blending trick. I use the same mascara on my lashes, CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers. The mascara is really great because it adds volume and length for bold lashes. For this look, I'm going with a blush that's a little bit more pink, so I'm going to be using Easy right here from the same blush palette that I used earlier. For some extra glow, I'm going to be using this highlight color here called Angel. I'm gonna put this along my cheekbones. To finish off the look, I'm using the CoverGirl O Sugar Lip Balm in Punch. These are infused with vitamins and also have avocado butter in them too. So they're really moisturizing and feel great on the lips. As you can see, these have a pretty sheer finish to them, but they're buildable, so if you want more color, you can just layer it up. I also really love that I can get these at the drugstore and they're just as good as a higher end balm. So this is my finished look. And for my outfit, I wanted to show you a look that I actually really love wearing, whether it's during the week or on Sunday for brunch, because I love having brunch on the weekend. I have a little two person brunch gang with Carrie happening pretty regularly. We've been pretty good at keeping up with it. On days like this, I like to keep my makeup light and fresh, and then my outfit very comfortable, but I also like to put a little bit of effort into it. So I have on this loose silk collared shirt that I love. It's super simple, and I love how versatile it is because I can dress it up and I can dress it down. I've worn this to more formal events and it works perfectly, but I've also worn it like I am today with a pair of loose fitted, stress jeans and I am all about this look. Usually by the time Sunday rolls around, I don't really want to worry about my hair, so I'll usually plop on a hat and I love this brown hat that I have because it pretty much just goes with everything. And for shoes, I have on my go-to loafers because why not? I love them and they're comfortable. Since I like keeping my makeup simple, especially on the weekend, this is a look that I can throw on. I don't have to think about it and I get a little bit of color from the lip color. So that is gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you feel inspired to put together your own spring looks, I would love to see your photos. So make sure you send them to me and CoverGirl on Twitter. I will have both of our handles here so you can tag us and we can like them and maybe even tweet back to you. I hope you all are having a wonderful spring so far. Enjoy the weather. Hopefully it's getting warmer in some parts of the country. I know it's been really hot here in LA. I feel like it's already summer here at TBH. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more videos coming your way very soon. BT Dubs, guess who has a podcast? 
It's called Ladies Who Lunch, and it's my new podcast with my real life BFF, Kat Valdez. You may know her as Kat Riffick here on YouTube. We've been wanting to do this podcast for so long, and we're so excited that it's finally here because this is like our baby. And there are some episodes up now that you can listen to, so I will have a link down below. We've been loving the response that we've been getting from people so far. It really seems like you guys are participating, and that makes us super happy because we love recording these episodes. We always just have so much fun. I hope you check it out and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you sometime, somewhere on the internet. <laughs> I never know how to end videos. It always just ends up kind of being a cluster of, well, you know. Bye everyone. <laughs>